This is Carl at National RV Detroit, and I'm going to walk you through your 2019 316 RLTS Solaire by Palomino. I'm on the door side of the trailer here, walking towards the rear. Okay, so down here in the corner we have a quick connect for a, a low pressure LP appliance, a grill or a griddle or whatever. All right, you got a regular scissor type stabilizers they take a, a three-quarter inch socket or the a crank that's supplied with it power awning you got a hookup for a TV here plus antenna out here and power that is your range hood vent there your steps fold into the trailer uh, if you're on uneven terrain you need to adjust the length of the legs you can just pull this pin here and uh, you can uh, adjust them up and down all right, this, uh, this hookup is just for a solar battery charger. If you wanted to get a solar panel to charge your battery, you can uh, plug it in right there. This, happens, this brand is a Furion. Just, uh, so, um, that's the type of plug they use for that. You've got your low point drains here. That's just the lowest point of the plumbing. You use that during winterizing and dewinterizing. Two uh, LP tanks with uh, automatic changeover regulator, your power tongue jack. Now if your power tongue jack ever fails you can pull this plug out of the top here and use the same crank you use for your stabilizers to uh, crank this manually so you can get yourself out of trouble if you have to. Alright, okay, just your dump hose. Okay, so you just have a uh, your uh, water connection here. So, uh, city water connection is right here. So that's the most common way to get water to your trailer. You'll just turn this on, and uh, or, or excuse me, attach it there and turn it on, and your whole trailer is ready to go. Now, if you're at a campsite that doesn't have plumbing on the on the campsite, but uh, uh, you can pre-fill your fresh water tank. You have an onboard fresh water tank right here. So you can pre-fill it and then use your onboard pump to pump the water. So it'll, everything will operate just like you have city water, even if, if you don't. That is just a, uh, a shower for, uh, for the outside. You have your 50 amp cord it connects here. We also give you reducers to reduce it down. This is just cable and satellite through. This is the out, your water heater on the outside here. Uh, you can see it works on both gas and electric. Keep in mind, there's a switch right here to operate the electric part of it right here. Just, just remember that that's there. All right. The other switches are inside the trailer. Uh, so, here are all your dump valves. So, let's see here. You've got two gray tanks, it looks like. you got uh, this one here and then this one there, right? Then you have your, your bathroom hookups. So here's your black tank here. That's your black tank valve and your gray tank valve. Now these, uh, uh, basically the black tank is toilet water and waste and the gray tanks are sink and shower water. Uh, so this is closed here. Let's say you're gonna put your hose right on here. Then you'll dump your black tank first. And after dumps, you'll dump the gray tank just to, because uh, it's cleaner water than the black water, basically, that's all. And it'll wash it out. Um, after, you do, after you do that, you can leave your, your, your valve for your black tank open, and then come up here and hook your hose at the dump station right onto this black tank flush here. Turn it on, it'll spray out the inside of your black tank, clean off the centers really well, and it just gives you a cleaner black tank. So that's a... That's a good thing to do. Just remember to keep your valve open before you turn the water on so too much pressure doesn't build up. Okay, moving along. Uh, this housing tells us it's pre-wired for a backup camera. So you can put a backup camera there. We sell them. You can buy them different places. Just remember to get to get the, the uh, Furion camera that fits into that housing, okay? Also, while we're looking up, you have to remember you have to inspect your trailer roof 
at least three times a season. So once in the spring, once in the fall, once in the middle of the summer, you go up there or have someone else go up there and inspect all the seals on the roof. Look for cracking or separation. And some years, sometimes you're going to find some cracking or separation. You don't know when or where. That's why you inspect it. But when you, when you do, you have it taken care of, okay? We're still in the process of cleaning your trailer. I know it looks a little bit dirty, but... Um, we're still in process. Someone left the, the, the TV on. There we go. Okay. So this is your control panel right here. So you have your slide outs here. Three slide outs. You have your awning. When you extend the awning, make sure it goes out eight feet and then you can see the awning tube. You'll know you're all, all the way out. Never leave it out unattended. Always roll it in when you're not at the campsite. Um, you can turn on your water heater here um, with gas, right? Um, I showed you the electric switches outside. Uh, you got porch lights, living room, okay. Uh, this is how you turn your water pump on if you got to pump your own water. Check your battery level. Your fresh water is, is still full. We're still water testing it. Black is empty. You got three gray tanks, which are all empty. You see they graduate up in one-third increments. They light up as they fill, so you'll know once you get past two-thirds, you're going to have to start thinking about dumping your tanks. Okay, so this device down here is your power converter. It basically converts 110 AC to 12 volt DC, so you have circuit breakers and fuses in there. Um, it'll also, as long as you're plugged in, it'll also keep your battery up front charged, so uh, keep that in mind. But this, this power converter converts 110 AC to 12 volt DC. Okay, uh, your chairs, your, we'll have you cleaned up better here. I hate to, we don't like doing videos when we're still in the process, but we're, we're kind of have a time issue right here. So our, our cleaners are coming through in just a minute to clean this up. Um, this obviously folds out into a three panel uh, hide a bed. You have a fireplace. The fireplace, you can change the appearance of the flame. You can, uh, it has a, a fan inside because it's a it's a space heater also. So it'll you got you got high and low and off for the fan and and uh, um, thermostat and a timer all all sorts of all control you need over this thing and and there's also a a um, remote that comes with it right here for that and then this remote next to it is for your sound. Um, so basically, this plays CDs and DVDs there. You can stream off of a USB stick here. Take all your favorite albums with you and keep them on one stick. You can hook up wirelessly with Bluetooth so you can stream off your phone or tablet. You got two speaker zones, one and two. One is inside, two is outside. So there's a lot you can do with it. Um, it's uh, especially considering you're camping, you got everything you need there. Your microwave works like any other microwave. Um, your range hood, there's the fan. The light. Remember, on the outside there's a baffle on your outside vent. Um, you just push up on the on it, and it'll flap freely. So if you're going to vent, you want that to flap freely. Otherwise, you just keep it shut tight. Okay. All right. So um, I don't know if he's got the gas turned on, but let's see here. I'll talk you through it either way. So you're just going to go light. If you can find it here. There we go. To light. And there you go. It's sparking, and the lights just like that. So you turn the sparker clockwise. You do that for each burner. Then, for the oven, down here all the way to the back on the bottom is a pile of light. So what you do is you come to the oven knob and you'll go to pile it. Then you depress it and hold it in. Then you're going to spark it right here by turning that clockwise. And when the pile of light lights, you continue to hold this in for another 10 seconds or so until it gets heated up. Then you go to operating temperature. Um, so it cycles like an oven does, but keep in mind when you shut it off, the flame goes out obviously, but so does the pilot light. So you have to relight, excuse me, relight the pilot light each time you use the oven. Always keep your cover closed when you're traveling. This is a Dometic gas absorption refrigerator. Um, basically on, right now it's on auto and that's what you want. Auto means that basically electricity takes parameters so it always searches for electricity and uh, uses it. If it can't find it, it'll switch over to gas automatically. That's why they call it automatic 
or if, if let's say you're in the middle of the night you have a power outage and you're all sleeping it'll automatically switch over to gas so you don't spoil your food so you can run it dedicated to gas like that but it'll, if there's no power it'll automatically switch to gas the only other thing to know about this is this is your uh, thermistor this is how you set the temperature on this thing you want it basically up as high as it goes you can see the stickers there it says cooler at the top warmer at the bottom you just want to slide that thing up as far as you can you're almost always going to have it up all the way this device is your LP carbon monoxide detector it should always be green like it is um, if not you want to get it checked if it goes out you obviously take everybody outside shut the gas off at the front and then figure out what's going on Okay, your shower and sink work like any other shower and sink. Always use the vent fan when you're using the shower to pull the humidity out. The toilet, the thing to remember about the toilet is you have to have, um, you have to have water, a little bit of water in it, and your chemical in it. So let's say you, you just hooked up to the, at the campsite, you hooked up your gas, or I'm sorry, your water and your, your electricity. So you come inside here, your black tank is empty. The black tank is directly below it down there, right? So the black tank is empty. So you put your chemical right in here, whichever brand you use. You put one dose in. Then you'll step on the pedal because the water's hooked up. It's gonna, water's going to come swirling out. And you're going to stand on that pedal until you put about a gallon or two of water in there. There's no way to tell exactly what that is. Just use common sense. The bottom line is you have to have some water in the tank and your chemical before you start using it. Okay? All right. So... Your thermostat's here. Um, it's pretty basic, like any thermostat. Um, you can program it. You go through the different modes. Cool. Uh, always try to stick with auto. Fan is just the air conditioner running without the compressor. Um, uh, and back to off. you got to go all the way around off. Furnace, fan, and off. So you got three options. Cool, which is the air conditioner. Fan, which is the air conditioner running without the compressor. And uh, furnace. All right, this is um, a sensor here for, for Zone 2, which is in this room here, just so you know what that is. Um, this is also pre-wired for a second air conditioner. That's what this sticker is telling us. So to get a second air conditioner, you would take this vent out right here, and the air conditioner will fit right in that, in that spot, okay? So you're pre-wired for that. That's why you have the 50-amp system. All right, so you got storage underneath the bed, of course. And you got closet storage here, and then you're also pre-plumbed and wired for a air or for a hair condition for a washer dryer combo if you want to use that. Otherwise, you can just use this as a closet. And let's see here. Last but not least, let me look around. Okay, good. I think that covers everything in here. Okay, let me walk back out this way. See if I left anything out. I don't think I did. So, okay. Well, that's good then. So, okay. Well, that's basically it. Obviously, you can drop your, your table down by removing the legs and turn that into a bed also. Uh, keep that in mind. A lot of storage. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for purchasing your trail at National RV Detroit. And remember, you have to inspect your roof three times a season everybody owns a trailer has to inspect the roof even though some people don't it's very important that you protect your investment by keeping an eye on the seals and the sealant just in case uh, anything fails you'll know about it so thank you very much